Oh my God. Oh my God. According to the Mayo Clinic, the signs and symptoms of a heart attack include chest pain, oh. fatigue, heartburn, lightheadedness, shortness of breath, and nausea. These are things that prevent a normal person from driving correctly, and in most cases, people call 911. But imagine a future where a Tesla can drive you to the hospital itself. Now, before we get started, a few things to keep in mind. First, these for entertainment purposes only. I'm still gonna be paying attention and abiding to all local laws. Two, in order for the Tesla to drive itself, it does require haptic feedback in the form of me holding on to the steering wheel. However, me holding on to that steering wheel doesn't affect the steering in any way. Third, if I actually tried to let the Tesla drive itself with nobody in the driver's seat, this is what happens and I get put in oh, autopilot shoot. jail. So I have cameras set up outside and inside the Tesla to capture everything. I also got these bumper stickers while I'm driving so people know in case the car does something stupid. Guess that's not metal. There we go. This is another one. I might have to center the bad word there, but. I'm not feeling well, but I can't get to my car. It's so far away. Gotta summon the car to me. Okay, so we're at a plaza right now and we're gonna be going to the hospital. It's at Kaiser, it's 5.3 miles away, 22 minutes with a lot of traffic. Uh, let's just see how it does. Now I'm still in park. You cannot start autopilot while it's in park. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into reverse. So I mean, I still have to do some work. Self-driving initiated. And now we are starting. Stopping at a stop sign. That true stop, not a California roll. Tesla actually got in trouble for doing that. So now it's gonna, it says apply slight steering force. So I literally just kind of hold the steering wheel like that and then it goes away. And we're gonna see if it can take me there. We're looking good so far. And it can be very scary, but I'm gonna see if I could trust it. Right now it's 9 a.m. So it's not like we're doing it in like early in the morning or late at night when there's no cars. This is like prime time right now. And to be honest, I don't really use FSD that much because it's very nerve wracking. It sees a red light, it goes faster, and then it sees the red light and then it just suddenly breaks. If you look on the screen here, you can see black car as well as blue signal light. That kind of shows what is currently active and what it's focused on. And this is the car in front of me. This blue line indicates my line of path. And then if you saw there were Chevron lines and that indicates my car is slowing down. And if you pay attention, you'll see another blue line in a certain area on this path. And that's pretty much the predictive line of when the car is stopping at that line. We got green light, you can control the speed with the scroll wheel. Now I need to be in my far right lane eventually because that's where the freeway is. And it's 0.7, there we go. Again, I'm only gonna intervene in the worst case scenario when something bad is really about to happen. I'm gonna, like I don't feel safe. Oh shoot, the Insta360. Gotta take a break. The Insta360 is about to fall off. Go into this little street, fix it, and then we're gonna go back and see how it does. This is actually better because then it's more signal lights, more people. Now we're back. The one thing the Tesla does not do good at is U-turns. It does not know how to U-turn. So I'll show you right now. So just a quick detour in a local street. Let's see if it does a U-turn or Oh, it's not gonna U-turn for me. Okay, where's it going? Don't hit the car, don't hit the car! Oh my God, that's so close. Oh God. Oh my God. So now, see, it doesn't know what to do. Unable to complete maneuver, please assist now. 
So yeah, so there you go. It doesn't know how to U-turn. Did, didn't know what to do. Okay, so now we're in local right now and we're gonna see if it could handle everything. I don't like how it gets so close to the car sometimes, but that is normal. But see that thing? That just shows that it's slowing down, making sure it's safe. And it's gonna come over here. There's a person. Thank you for not hitting that person. Okay, now we're gonna turn left and the wheel is going funky. Now again, FSD beta is beta, that's what it is, right? It doesn't mean it's perfect, doesn't mean it's 100%, it's still work in progress. However, compared to all the other car manufacturers, it's amazing. Okay, red light, green light for us, but it's not a dedicated green, so let's see how it does. Okay, I just had to do that for the steering force, came at the wrong time. So now we are going, it thinks it's a red light. I'm not gonna touch it and see if it understands and knows what to do. Okay, so I thought it was a signal light right there. So I had to push on the accelerator there. Okay, so now we are at a red light, one of those one car per green. Before it never worked well, but now it's way better. Oh God, come on, I'm gonna push it. Another fail right there. It didn't know what to do, even though it was a green light, it didn't know how to react. Now we're merging. I hate it when it merges, because it does so bad. There's a car coming right here. Okay, no issues there, good. I wanna do more local for you guys, so you can see how it does locally, because freeway is pretty much the enhanced autopilot, which is what everyone has, right? Again, I haven't touched the wheel at all, aside from counter force steering. Pressed on the accelerator twice. That's not too bad if you ask me, but we chilling. I could just take a quick nap. I'll just take it easy. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay. Let's go of course, in a medical emergency, you want to get to the hospital the fastest, but I mean, it's not really a medical emergency. More so, like, if I had to get somewhere where I'm unable to drive. And this is not an excuse to drink and drive because you are an idiot if you decide to do that but it's more so to make your commute and driving easier. All right, green light, baby, let's go. And you're forever, man. All right, not bad. It knew that this lane was ending, so it knew to be in this lane, which is good. No one wants to be behind me because they see my bumper sticker. Let me know in the comments below if you like this type of video, because I mean, I live in the LA area. I can make this as hard as possible if I wanted to. Like all the data is here. You can move the screen, unlike the Model X and S, just to kind of see what the computer sees. Let's see if it's gonna take me right to this area here. Bruh. This seems like a tough spot. There we go. This is not the right one. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Did you guys see that? I thought that was the wrong lane. Luckily that car was a paying attention. This is why I don't try. It's like too nerve wracking and nervous to do this on local city streets. That was intense. You guys saw that, right? I told you, I didn't want to take control. That's absolutely necessary. I saw that BMW behind me and I was like, okay, there's plenty of space, even though I'm technically in the middle lane, so it should be fine. It's, it's a work in progress. That's why it's FSD beta. So it's not gonna be perfect, but still really good. Like, look how easy this turns. I'll do that soon. Okay, I need to go. Maybe that guy saw my bumper sticker, so he knew to give me space. So red, I could go, creeping forward for visibility. Oh my God, I feel like it's gonna curb the wheel. There's no way the car can do this. There's a car behind me. I'm so sorry. I didn't touch it. I didn't touch it. Wow, not bad. Oh my god. Look at that. Look at that maneuverability though. You have to admit that's really good. Okay. 
I'm here. Oh, shoot. That's what happened. Autopilot jail. Oh! So, autopilot jail. That's what happens. We did it. We made it to the hospital. Just a little bit of intervention from the Tesla. I pretty much just had to push on the accelerator twice. Elon did say in future updates that the car will drop you off as well as park for you, which is gonna be a game changer. But anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.